and peace to go round. So much love for the whole world on a beautiful day. You're watching Hello Nigeria. You're watching Hello Nigeria. Don't touch the dial. Hello Nigeria. Sit back and relax. joined by a delightful young girl who is my celebrant today because it's children's day and I decided what child would I love to interview and none other than this woman who's little woman who's an absolute delight her name is Tevilayo Abodunri she's a saxophonist and she's my guest today happy children's day Tevilayo thank you so much ma how are you I'm fine ma so first of all how old are you? I'm nine years old. Really? Yes. How long have you been playing the saxophone? Since I was age six and now I'm nine. So that's three years now. Three years? Yes, ma'am. First of all, before we go into you telling us your story about saxophone, let's talk about your day. How's your children's day celebration been? It has been fine, ma'am. So what have you what and what have you done today? Well, I woke up very early this morning to go to um um T V C. So from there I went to Max FM. So you've just been going up and down doing media tours since 6 a.m.? Yes, ma'am. Would, would you say it was today your first time doing interviews or you've been doing before now? I've been doing interviews before now. Okay. Now let's talk about your love for saxophone. At what point did you, why did you choose to learn how to play the saxophone? I got interested in saxophone first. I started playing the keyboard at the age of three. Okay. So when I was age six, I saw people of, people, um, other teenagers playing the saxophone so i picked interest in it so i told my parents about it and i started to so they got me the saxophone and the teacher so i started to learn saxophone how long did it take you to learn before you, you could confidently play for others well i think just like one year one year okay let's talk about you know other saxophonists who would you say are some of your favorite saxophonists or people that you've worked with like only saxophonists yes yeah, saxophonists Olu Jazz, BJ Sax, Umi Sax. Um, have you worked with these people? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Have you worked with any young saxophonists like you as well? Okay, like Temi Tayokayode, Demilade, Praise, and the place. Interesting. The when you grow up, Temi Lade, what do you want to be? Well, for now, I want to be a professional saxophonist. So, but, but who knows, I might change or add something to the saxophone. Which, which, who would you say has been your greatest support in this saxophone journey, mommy or daddy? Daddy. <laughs> Why daddy? What has daddy done differently? Uh, daddy ha has more time to always take me out for my performances Aww. and interviews. Do you ever get nervous, maybe before you're about to perform? Have you, has there been any point where you're scared or you're nervous or you're shy because there's a crowd? No. Never? Really? Okay, so what's, what is your routine usually? Lead us through some of your routines when you want to. What do you need to do before a performance? So if you have a show, if I tell you, I'm getting married, I want you to come and play. What do you need to do? What's, what's the process? I just... Since it's for a wedding, I know that it's for a wedding, so I play wedding songs and I play wedding songs then. I find the type of songs that really match. So I practice them if it's new or I already know it. I just practice it. So do you, do you there are songs that you play, you know? I, I met you at Jenny Drill's concert and you were phenomenal, by the way. Yes, do you have to learn this? Do you teach yourself how to play these tunes? Or do you have a saxophone teacher that teaches you how to play these tunes? And I have a teacher. You have a teacher? Yes, ma'am. Brilliant. But you do rehearsals. How long does your rehearsal take? Um, how, your rehearsals, how long do, does each one take? Well, I really practice for a very long time, every day. Every day? Yes, ma'am. And it doesn't affect your schooling? No. How are you able to manage both of them? Well, when I started, it was tough, so... My parents and I um, brought out the timetable that from Mondays to Fridays, when I come back from school, I read my school books, then around the evening time I practice, then Saturdays or Sundays I practice more. Okay, 
We have a video clip of little Timmy that you are bothering, not so little Timmy that you are bothering, we, you know, playing the saxophone. We're going to have a play, of course, in the studio, but first, let's check out this video. All right, that is Timmy that you are We are seeing the saxophone, playing the saxophone behind the scenes. We're going to get to see her play live. She's my guest today on the show, a nine-year-old saxophone is doing amazing. Well, can you re remember the first event you ever played for, the first time you played publicly? How was it for you? Well, I really don't remember, but I know that all my performances have been going well. There's never been a time when you felt, oh, I didn't do too well in this performance. Uh, not really. Not really? Are you sure? Not yes, even so. once? No. Really? So you always kill all your performances, like that. you always ace them? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now your routine every day is Monday through Friday. You do your school, go to school, come back, do your assignments, and then um, do your play, pra you. practice the saxophone, and then you practice more during the weekend. Yes, do you have siblings? Yes. So how do your siblings fit in? Does any of them, you know, how do they fit in when you're going for all these shows? Do they go with you? Does any of them play the saxophone as well? No. Um, the one after me, Maya Mikawabodu, plays the keyboard, but he's still learning. Then the younger one plays um, the drum sets as Ayokumi. Are your parents musicians by any chance? Seeing as their three children play the instruments. No. Your parents, can they play any instruments? Uh, no. Wow, interesting. How does it make you feel when you go to school and you're like this little superstar, everybody sees you at events, they're seeing you on social media, playing at this big... Do you, how does it make you feel in school? In school, I really don't have that in school because it's not everyone that knows me in school as a saxophonist. So you are able to separate your personal life from your public life even, in, even at this age? You're not, you don't show them your saxophonist side in school? No, I don't take my saxophone to school all the time. So they... I only take it if I just have to perform in school. Interesting. So tell us, let's get to know some things about a few things about Temidaya Temi that is not, you know, musically inclined. E.G., what's your best color? Yellow and blue. Yellow and blue. What's your best food? Moi Moi. Moi Moi? <laughs> what is your best song to play on the saxophone? I have different best songs. You have different best songs? If you could choose one to play, which one would it be? Like here? Yeah. One Love. One Love. By oh. Bob Marley. Okay, great. And if you had to perform with anybody, who is the artist that you'd like to perform with? Well, all the artists of Singers or saxophonists, anybody. If there's somebody that you'd like to perform with on stage, who's your idol, your music idol? I have, like, all those who I've performed with are my... Idols. Yes. So there's nobody you're looking forward to. Like, as a little girl, I really looked for, I look forward to meeting Michael Jackson. He was my, he was my mentor. He was my idol, and then he died, unfortunately. So I didn't get to meet him. So there's no one person that you're looking well, forward to seeing. I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to see Gerald Albright. Ooh, look at her. Fancy. Okay, now before we let you go, um, let's, let's just, what would you say to young children or young people like you, because you're a young woman, young people like you, who have gifts, you know, that they want to nurture, but they are scared. Lots of young people feel like they can't do it. They are insecure. They feel like they don't know how to go about it. People will laugh at me. If I do it, I may not do it well. They are scared. They are afraid. What would you say to a young child that is watching you? You know, you're a very confident girl. What would you say to another child to encourage them to be confident in themselves? Well, first, I'd like to say Happy Children's Day. And for, for those who you have a talent but you're scared to do it, just talk to your parents so that they can help you. Because I, most times when I'm in the car, I'm going out, I see children begging on the road or selling things, and I really feel that that's not right because I feel they should be in school or school learning or at home reading their school books or their parents helping them to find out their talents. Very true. So if they are nervous or they are scared, they should speak to their parents and so their parents can encourage them. Yes, How would you say to parents that, are, that have not helped their children? Your parents, you're lucky and blessed. Your parents have seen your talent and they've helped you develop it. But there are some other parents that are afraid to help their children develop their talents because they think, oh, they are too young. I don't want to introduce them to um, entertainment industry. What would you say to those parents? I'd like to say, talk, say, talk to those parents that don't be scared because God is always with you. Because if you're scared, you won't be able to do 
the things you wish to do. And if you try, if you do them now, you really get it because practice makes perfect. Indeed, practice does make perfect. Find out from the Williams sisters, Serena and Venus, and the age that the parents introduced them into tennis. So the earlier you catch them, the better for them, because at the end of the day, you find out that they nurture these talents. And by the time they get to our age, they are, they've become pros, because they're competing with other children around the world who started from a very young age. So parents, do not be afraid. Just find out modalities on which you can guide and encourage them. But thank you, Timmy Dyer, for being our guest today. You're welcome. You are such an absolute delight. And happy Children's Day to you. You are like the most hardworking child that I've seen in recent times. Thank you, Ma. You and DJ Kali's son should be competing for hard work. Oh, no, no, you are actually working. <laughs> How can people follow you on Instagram? Okay, I have an Instagram handle, Temilayo underscore Abodunri. All right. So Temilayo underscore Abodunri on Instagram. Follow her. Show her love. Of course, if you're following the account, you're chatting with her parents, I'm certain, right? <laughs> so follow her and of course you know have a little child encourage young entrepreneurs for what kind of events have you done by the way um jazz events um gospel events inspirational events okay also weddings have you done a wedding yet yes Ooh, look at you already making money and paying your school fees from a young age <laughs> but that's all we have on the show today thank you so much for joining us we'll be back again same time tomorrow remember to follow me on all social media platforms at olive mod and follow the delightsome Tebilayo on the scholar Bordore. And thank you to our wonderful parents for the wonderful work that you do. Do you want to give a shout out to your mommy and daddy? Okay. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, daddy. Thanks for supporting me and encouraging me to, to reach this stage. Oh, thank you, mommy and daddy. We are grateful on behalf of Tebilayo Abodore. So please, play us out of today's show. Okay, so I'll be playing a song titled One Love by Bob Marley. Please go ahead. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.